Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Authenticity by Becky Annabelle. Yes, I know it has been a few weeks since I last recorded and uploaded throughout my podcast, and that is because I really didn't feel like I had much topics and subjects to explain and talk about and bring up, but something came to me um, the last two days due to watching a film known as In Time. If you haven't heard of it, I suggest you check it out. It, I'm not sure how old it is. I'd say over the last five years. But it's called In Time and it is with Justin Timberlake and I believe you can watch it on Amazon and Netflix. But today's short podcast is going to be directed towards that, what I had learned and what you guys can take away for yourselves Um, and use within your daily life and generally your life. So without further ado, let's get into it. So today's topic is about time and currency. And what I have noticed throughout my years of being alive, I'm 30, and I noticed this with many people, that we all put money on a pedestal. Because money is our currency. To get to places, to buy things, to eat, we have to have money. Unfortunately, that is the the world and the society that we have been brought into and we have grown into. So we put money on a pedestal as if we can only be happy unless we have X amount. Or we can only be happy when we receive a specific thing, we buy a specific thing. And if you haven't already listened to an old podcast episode of mine, which I believe it's money isn't the root of happiness, something like that. I will put it in the description box below. But this episode that I did before basically is explaining how you can have all the money in the world, you we can chase in money for the rest of your life. But when you receive the fancy car that you've been saving up your whole entire life, you will be disappointed. Because the happiness does not lie in these physical objects. They lie and come from within. So you can be happy now despite having the Ferrari or the Lambo or the Bentley or whatever it is that you are looking to spend your whole entire life paying. So the happiness does not come from the physical external objects. It comes from within. You could be happy with literally nothing. It's all your state of being and in within your control. And so we put money on a pedestal, we allow money to dictate whether we feel good or whether we feel bad, and money controls the way we treat people. I've known so many people argue over money. And what this film displayed was basically, it was about time. Money was not, was no longer a currency, and time was the currency, so they had this stopwatch on their arm which count down how many hours they had left and it started when they were 25 so when you're 25 you have a countdown clock and it starts and the only way for you to have more time is to work by using your time so if you wanted you know to have more time on your life You had to work and waste your time to get the time, which makes completely no sense. And within this film, you could also queue up for the time bank. So you would get a loan out to get more time. So if you wanted a a certain amount of time, you had to pay back more time. It's, It's kind of complicated when I'm explaining it. But when you watch a film, it's pretty easy to understand. So if you had 18 minutes left on your stopwatch, you would do whatever you can to survive and increase that time. And you could also give other people your time. So if you had 20 hours, I could give you one hour extra by attaching my hand to you and giving you that one hour. So the one hour gets taken from my time. And when you look at it, Money is so easily replaceable. You can get money from selling the crap that you have lying around your house. You can get money from finding it in the street, from winning a competition, winning the lottery. 
you can get money from creating something from your own hands and selling it. You can get money from planting food and selling it. You can get a job. There is so many different ways for us to receive money and get money. And it can be literally effortless. Like Getting money pretty much is effortless depending on your state of mind. And that's the truth. Some of you might not like to hear that, but it is a state of mind. I've found it so much more easier to create money the last year than I have done my entire life. And that's generally through a mindset switch. You realize how easy money is and there's so many different ways for you to create money without having to spend your entire time working hard. So it's just a switch of the mind to figure out there's many different ways and you can be happy at the same time, which is very important within this episode in theory. So the film expresses that All they have is time and if they want more time, they have to choose their time wisely and find ways to get back time. And if the clock goes down to zero, they die immediately on the spot. So some of them, whether they've been brought into time, as in wealth, will never have to worry about wasting time because some of the rich and wealthy people in this film had like, a thousand years so they could live over and over and they can gamble that time so like we gamble money they can gamble their time and they can end up getting an extra 50 years on top of their life so a lot of these people stay looking like they're 25 for a thousand years and then they can use that as generational time wealth and pass it on to their family so their family can last thousands of years too and it became a thing where Kind of like in this physical reality, the rich stay extremely rich and they take the the money from the poorer, the less fortunate, which a lot of these countries are struggling because the rich just keep taking and taking up on whatever ways they can to stop the people coming out of slavery. They don't want these people to be rich. The rich, rich, I'm talking about the billionaires, do not want everyone else to be rich. Think about the tax. Think about all of these horrible things where they take money and just put it in their own pockets. Like when you really look at the system, I like to call it the matrix, the matrix system. It's literally a rat race, a cycle where you're continuously paying off these men in suits who don't give a crap about you and they're just sitting at their table laughing. They don't care about you. So It is my aim to get out of that matrix, out of that system, because once you become aware of what is really going on behind the scenes, you will stop watching the news and you will stop whatever you can to try and get off a grid and do your own thing. Start your own business, work on yourself. You do whatever you can to stop the people in, you know, up top making money from you as a slave. It's a very, very sad, dark world when you really look at it, but we're not going to go into that. But the film kind of shows you that, but with a time. And it really is personal to all of us because the people in the film kept getting longer and longer time. They kept getting what I would say richer. They had time. They had all the money, all the time in the world to do whatever they want so they can spend as long as they want on a certain thing. They didn't need to rush. Whereas the people with the lack of time they had about an hour left which helped what they call the system to keep running it wouldn't be beneficial or worthy for every single person to live to eternity so they had this separation this division of the wealthy in time and the poverty of time you have the two sections kind of like the rich and the poor and To get the system to continue, they had to give just a little bit of time to these poor people so they keep working and keep doing the slavery, keep doing the work. They needed them in the system. Otherwise, what is the point in this eternity of life? And that is what is going on in reality. We are being fed just a little bit extra to keep us going. Just like... You get paid a little extra an hour. Oh, guess what? 
your petrol is going up, your insurance is going up, the food cost is going up, fuel, everything ends up going up. So you think you are making money, more money an hour, when in actual fact you are actually going backwards. You are losing money. And it's designed like that. They give you all these different subscriptions online to keep you wanting to pay for entertainment. So you are constantly in this cycle of struggling. They don't want you out of that system. And this goes along the lines of what I was saying in the beginning, that we have money as our currency and we put money on a pedestal because we are doing whatever we can to keep that money going and to keep paying for all these things. So I'm not a financial advisor, but of course, go through your bills and sort out what you do and don't need and sell what you don't need, get rid of what you don't need and only buy what you need if you are struggling. That is obvious financial advice for anyone. But what I would say is compare, first of all, watch that film to understand, but compare how important time is against money. Because this film expresses how important time is. Because if you had all the time in the world, you wouldn't rush. You would relax and you would take it slow and you would enjoy every moment because you knew you had all the time in the world. But then there's a lot of us, majority of us, who forget that time is a thing and we think that we have eternity for whatever it is. So you could be striving for about 30, 50 plus years trying to get a promotion at one specific job and not even make it. Time is precious. Our time on this planet is limited. It's not eternal. A lot of you will not live to 100. So what are you doing for the majority of your life? You need to take a good look at where you are spending your time. Because time, you cannot get back. My last 30 years are over. I will never get those 30 years back. Do I regret some of it? Yes. So the only way to change that is to notice it now, become aware and ask myself, how can I make the most of this time? What can I do? Be present. Find things that make you happier. Follow whatever makes you feel really good because you will not get that time back and why spend 50 years of your life being miserable or even in relationship if you're miserable with someone leave them just get up and leave because you don't know what is in the unknown time heals what reason cannot so just go with what makes you feel good and make every second count when your kids are growing up, spend time with them. Stop working 24-7 because there's going to be a time where you regret and you wish you spent time with your kids. Especially as well, when it comes to your kids growing up, they remember how often you were there with them when you were younger. And that's why a lot of kids end up having mummy problems or daddy problems. Like a lot of the girls, sadly as it is, have a lot of daddy problems, daddy issues, and it shows all online. You can see in these podcasts where you see them screaming and shouting and their body count is ridiculously high. It's because their parent, their father, were not there when they were younger. So if you have a daughter or you ever have a daughter, you need to make sure you are present in her life. Otherwise, you've lost her, technically, because you're never around. And that time is very short. There's a short window of your daughter being young and that is where she is programmed and she is influenced so if you are not around then guess what she will be easily influenced so it's very crucial to notice where you are spending your time what are you doing with your time because you cannot get it back are you mindlessly scrolling and watching videos that are irrelevant and will probably show up on your feed in two years time there's times when I've like Notice a video pop up and I'm like, I saw that a year and a half ago. How is that still in circulation? And I just think to myself, this, everything online is just repeated. It's just a cycle. It's just been cycled round, like recycled, recycled posts. So we're all literally watching crap. 
we're watching crap, literally. I'm not even joking. I feel like a lot of the time is just time wasting stuff online. Find a video that enhances your brain, that makes you feel better, that motivates you to change your life. These pointless videos who are just posting for your attention, your entertainment, your views, because the greatest currency is not money, it's time. There are people out there who will create YouTube videos, Instagram videos, TikTok videos of like silly little videos that just take time. They drag on and they're like five, ten minutes long of your time you are watching. And at the end of the ten minute video, ask yourself, what value did I get from this? Mm, It was pointless video. That's ten minutes of your entire life disappeared, gone. It's just gone. Where's it gone? You're never going to get it back. You can't tap someone else's arm and get their time. Add it onto yours. That's why I say time is replaceable. You cannot get it back. The time with your loved ones, they're not going to be here forever. Spend time with them. Let them know that you love them. Because once they're gone, they're gone. You cannot let them know like, oh, sorry, I didn't be there for you. Be there now. You know, time doesn't technically exist it's it's you can't see it money you can easily replace you can easily get it and you don't know when your time is up whereas you know money you know how much money you got left and how much you can spend so use your time wisely time is so precious be grateful you woke up today there are people who didn't even wake up who felt you know died in their sleep or Slept in hospital and didn't wake up. Be grateful you woke up today. Be grateful you're going to sleep today. Be grateful you can eat. Be grateful you can breathe fresh air. Because you don't know when your time is up. And I believe a lot of people regret not being grateful for their life. There's so many people I've heard on online that record people who are on their deathbed and or they're really really old and they ask him what is the greatest information like advice that you could give to younger generation they're like be grateful enjoy every moment love give give your heart away like be that person that you always dreamt of dating and knowing spread love be kind hold doors open for people help people be there for someone Let people know that you are there if they need you. Be that person that you wish that you could date or wish you could find and have friends with. Be grateful for every little thing that life gives you. Be grateful for life. Be grateful you are healthy. And if you are not healthy, then you are ungrateful for your body. This is so important. So many people are so unwell and then you ask them, what have you been eating? What do you do? do? Oh, I drink every weekend. Oh, I have McDonald's three times a week. I don't exercise. I smoke all the time. And you wonder why you are rotting away. You are not taking care of your body. Then, of course, life is going to give you this crap. It's karma. What goes around comes around. What are you feeding your body? Your body is all you have. Your mind is all you have. What are you feeding it? You are deteriorating. You are literally destroying your body because you are not grateful for your life. Because if you was grateful for your life, you would watch what you eat. You would move more. You would be noticing what you feed your mind. That is gratitude. If you are grateful for yourself, you would do whatever it can you can to keep your body healthy. Because as soon as you are unwell, what is the one priority? Getting healthy again getting better why even get to that stage why not be grateful now and find out what you can help your body what does your body need tune into your body and ask yourself what is my body craving i feel a little dehydrated okay drink some water oh i still have a headache drink some more water i feel really sluggish go and work out move your body cycle run dance scream i don't care move your body get the endorphins running find things and tune into your body and do those things your body 
is like your greatest guiding compass. It's telling you what you need in any given moment. You know when you get those funny feelings in, in your stomach and you're walking down the street, your body knows something is not right. Someone around you has bad intentions. Tune into your body. Men and women have intuition and our bodies are telling us what we need. What it needs, whether it's food or a drink. You think that, oh, I have a craving for chocolate. That's not your body craving for chocolate. That's your brain. It's always going to be good things that make you feel generally really good and are healthy. Sugar is an addiction. It's apparently 10 times worse than cocaine. So that is a red flag to notice. I do it too. I get urges of having sugar and chocolate. But it's one of those things that I have to remind myself to be aware of. Is it my ego? Is it the sugar addiction? Or do I generally need it because whatever, not that I do really need sugar. There's other ways of getting sugar. But my point is tune into your body. Notice what it is trying to tell you. What have you been lacking in? What vitamins have you been lacking in? Because 90% of the illnesses that we have that we go to doctors for in the hospital, apart from obviously injuries, are usually vitamin deficiencies. Vitamins control so much in our body. If If you start getting unwell, like sick, um colds it's vitamin c vitamin d is like mentalness as well if you have you feel sluggish and you feel drained vitamin d vitamin c if you feel weak in energy and strength or you have a headache dehydration sodium potassium magnesium they all help to function different parts of our bodies learn that watch an hour's video learning this stuff at least you're getting benefit out of it and you can last longer and if someone asks you for advice because they are unwell with whatever you can give your intake so you become useful (laughs) and who knows you could end up making money doing something like that that you love that is super easy what i'm saying is be grateful for your life grateful for your body and spend whatever time that you have doing things that you love And tune into your body and make sure that you are healthy because you don't know when your time is up. Enjoy every moment of it with abundance of energy. And remember, money does not go on a pedestal. You go on the pedestal. Money is not gold. It's not the aim. It's you are the aim. You are the prize. You are the prize. You come into this earth without money. You come in with the breath, with your body, your intuition, your mind. So be grateful for it. You can take that everywhere. Whereas money can be taken from you. Objects can be taken from you. You can spend your entire life, 40 years, trying to get a Lamborghini. You get the Lamborghini and with the flick of a switch, someone can crash into it and it's gone. You cannot replace yourself, but you can replace money. So don't seek it for the outs- in the external. Seek it within. So do not put money as your currency but time time is your currency and time is the greatest precious currency that we are very limited of so that is the end of this episode guys i hope you did enjoy i just want to say the film the movie is called in time before i forget if any of you didn't register what i said in the beginning so that's in time on amazon and netflix so far so I'll see you guys very soon and remember to be grateful and enjoy every moment of today. Notice the little things, notice the birds, the clouds, the sounds you can hear. Just tune into your five senses and I promise you like over time, every day just gets better and better and better. So have a beautiful day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.